All right, the drop test is my personal favorite test because it's super fast, easy, and accurate. I've been using this Taylor K1000 kit for over a year now. This is my third kit ordered, and I just ordered a pack of two to hopefully get me through the next year. When ordering this kit online, make sure you get the one that only requires five drops to test chlorine. I purchased a kit that required five drops of solution A and then five drops of solution B to test my chlorine level, annoying. The second mistake I've made is buying a kit that has a purple viewing glass. I much prefer the yellow viewing glass. I just think it gives better results and I know it's easier to read for me. Now that you have the right test kit, let's talk about how to use this Taylor K1000 to test our chlorine level. First, we need to fill the viewing glass with water. Dip it into the pool and fill it up to the little black line right here. I usually have to poke my finger in the top just to push a little bit of water out and get it perfectly on that line. After you've filled it with water, add five drops of chlorine viewing solution into the chlorine side. I like to go ahead and and put the five drops for the pH test in on the other side. Now that both the drops are in, we put the lid back on and give it a good shake. After the solution has been shaken, you can view the results through the viewing glass and color match to check your levels. Your chlorine level should be between one and four and your pH should be right around 7.5. A little more or less is okay too. As long as you're within that range, you should be good. 